Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my beautiful ride chair revolutionaries. It's me Geo. Y'all know who the fuck it is. Alrighty, it is what fucking time is it right now? 9.53 in the morning, Thursday, March 5th. March the 5th. And this morning, somewhere around 9 a.m. Central Time, uh, the Uber app crashed, went down, whatever you whatever you want to call it. Uh, drivers, and I'm only getting information from my group chat. Uh, I don't. I'm not involved with any Facebook groups. I'm not involved. I don't really keep up with Uber on Twitter. I don't follow UberPeople.net. Pretty much all the info I get, which I forgot to turn off my fucking. Do not disturb, but let's check out this post really quick. Um, hold on a second, let's go. Let's go to my, oh, can't even bother. Don't, let's not even bother. Okay, so, got word that the Uber app was not working for drivers in Chicago, Houston, New York City, and Atlanta. And the screenshot you're showing right now, you're, you're being shown right now is from Atlanta. This was at, 10 18 a.m uh looks like a very 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 large part of the city a very large portion of the state of georgia is lit up with surge with flat surge um uh the driver said he could not even go online right so that happened okay I did see I, someone, I did notice that there was a bunch of surge on Uber um, about 9 a.m., which didn't make a lot of sense to me. I did check the app. And then the driver showed that where he was, there was an increased amount of demand, increased amount of surge. That means a lot of people were looking at their phones, hoping to get rides, right? But drivers couldn't go online right and whenever that happens usually when there's a mass kind of blackout on uber or lyft or whatever app when you can't go online for whatever reason or and, and there's a bunch of drivers that can't go online that usually means they updated something they did a massive update because that happens and this happens every four to five months they'll add some kind of new app feature they'll change the way this works or something and whenever that happens, there's usually a whole range of app issues that come with it, right? And I think I know what it is. This was the same driver in Atlanta at 1040 AM. Confirm your fare, 5.0X. Now, I don't have any screenshots to compare this to. Uh, like I said, this is not this is in Atlanta. This is not in California. Which, okay, Atlanta's not a state. This is in Georgia, which Georgia is not California. And California did reinstate the multiplier, right? I know typically when you order a ride and it's surging or demand is high, it's going to say on the screen fares are increased due to uh, fares are higher due to increased demand or it's. It's on Lyft, it will say it's very busy or it's slightly busy. So this makes me think two things as of right now, as of, as, as of 9.57 a.m. March 5th, Thursday, March 5th. I am deducing one of two things. Uber is going to be rolling back the multiplier nationwide for drivers. This might be their Hail Mary to get drivers back on their side. You know, you don't really know what's what's motivating this kind of activity, this kind of behavior, this kind of update. That's the first, first thing. The second thing is Uber will be allowing passengers to see what the multiplied rate is while maintaining the flat surge for drivers. And while I know that sounds like we're getting screwed, like, yeah, no, we are. I mean, yeah, we're getting screwed by that as drivers, or those of you who can drive Uber. Um, but what that tells me is like a lot of drivers don't really know when their fares are going to multiply or not. So now as drivers, even if you're just working the flat surge, 
if you know you're getting pink from a certain location, you can kind of be choosy with your pickups. You know, like if you want multiplied, lengthier Uber X rides, Uber XL rides, whatever, whatever the case may be. Now, now you know which ones have a higher likelihood of multiplying. You know, you get to choose. Like, do I want do I want the eight dollar flat surge ride for a mile, or do I want the six dollar flat surge ride for fifteen miles? that I know is gonna multiply and it's gonna pay out like 25, sorry, I got something in my hair, one of my cat hairs. Um, that I know it's gonna probably multiply to like 20 or 25 bucks for an airport ride, right? I'm leaning towards the latter. I don't think, I don't think Uber's, uh, whatever goodwill Uber's throw toward, whatever goodwill the Uber company throws towards drivers, I don't believe. Uh, I'm 100% I'm on the side that Uber and Lyft don't give a goddamn about their drivers. Gotta take this ping really quick. Um, but this could be them trying to say like, oh, we're trying, we're attempting to be more transparent with the passengers and, and you know, like, they're gonna find a way to spin this if this is in fact what's going on. I'm not saying for sure it is one way or another. All I'm saying is from what I'm seeing right now, the app goes down, that means they updated something uh, potentially they're bringing the multiplier back nationwide or passengers are going to see the multiplied rates, but drivers are going to be stuck with the flat surge. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. All right. That's all I got for this one, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. Everyone, please stay safe, stay driven, stay classy. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.